Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So, this is my daily series for Lineage Red Knights. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all the daily quests and um, just, you know, kind of show you guys my, my playthrough of what I'm doing. At the same time, show you guys my progress of how, you know, um, basically everything is going. Dude, I love exploration. Exploration is awesome. It's like I think it's like my main way of getting all these rare resources. I think it's the only way to get these resources. Um, but anyways, I, I'm i not sure how you guys explore, I, I pretty much just do this. I, I don't even know what these cloaks do, but I always drag them on my like strongest monsters. And then I save party. And then I send out the next team. I'm not even sure if this is right. But I mean, it, it's not that bad, right? I, I just do it for 10 hours, and then um, it only costs 1k gold. To actually do this, like to put these things on your monsters, so you might as well do it anyways. I think it increases your success success chance of finding things. I'm not too sure exactly, so don't don't quote me on that. But I, I am like I do have enough monsters to do to do like just just as many as possible, um, as many explorations as possible. Wait, is that my? Wait, that's not my hero. I think I should put it on the chicken. Cause he's the only other two-star monster I have left. All right, so we're gonna go through the, we're gonna go through our quest and basically just uh, just basically just look through everything. I think the best idea is to start out with a arena battle or coliseum battle, as they call it in this game. Oh, whoa! I didn't crash this time. That was really weird. I, I usually like my game relogs me. Oh, it doesn't crash, but it relogs me every single time that I, I uh, start a call. Oh, what is this thing? Okay, I'm kind of sure I can't beat him. Maybe I can beat him. I don't know. They have so many four stars. I actually raised a few three stars. I'm I'm kind of like preparing for uh, guild battles and stuff. Can I beat this guy? I can definitely beat this guy. I think. Wait, no, no, no. no. He he has four four stars. What is this bullshit? I think the gap is getting bigger and bigger. The people that are like really strong. I'm not too sure I can beat this though. Oh god, magic tanks counter me. Actually wait no. Yeah, magic tanks do counter me. I have I don't I'm not too strong against her. She's actually really strong against my team. And he has anti-heal as well. That guy is actually really strong. I forgot what he's called, but he's actually really OP. Um. All right, let's let's fight this guy. This guy, I know I can beat. I think. Oh shit! It does seem like I'm tankier than him. That's that's just an illusion. Oh shit, he pushed me back. Alright, nice, I got my heal off. That was perfect. Wait, 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 I might... I need to kill this healer fast. Before she gets a heal off, and I basically win. Oh my god, holy shit. That was a lot of damage. That was a shit ton of AoE damage. Wait, I might lose this. Oh my god, what the fuck, dude? Oh shit, her... Her, uh, her hero was so strong. She just sold me. Oh shit! Uh, she she has the set like the 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 pay to win set. I can't beat pay to win. Pay to win's too strong. I shoulda I shoulda looked at that. Like she was so strong. She had she had like the uh, this this set. The the hardcore pay to win set. God damn it. Um. Oh yeah, there's something I can do for my hero actually. Oh, I forgot to announce my, announce my guild. I'll I'll uh, I'll tell you guys about it in a bit. But right now we're gonna do we're gonna do this. I want to get to plus three for the extra physical damage, but I'm afraid of this ring exploding. Do you think I should do it? Do you guys think I should do it? You guys can't hear me anyways. You guys are you guys are watching a YouTube video. I'm gonna do it. All right. This is I think it's worth the risk. You mean I mean 275 physical damage. Please don't explode. Please, please, please don't explode. It's just plus two to plus three. Please don't explode.
In chat successful. Fuck. Nice, I got a plus three. Alright, I have I have bonus uh bonus bonus damage now. Dude, she was so strong. That that set was OP. But I think if I do if I do my battles for a few days and I collect like a full purified set for my Lara and get it all to plus three, it would be awesome. Nope, no, no purified set yet. Um, all right, let's let's move on with the quest. So I started a new guild. I, I actually should show you guys the guild right now, right after we do, right after we do a random free summon. Cause I have to do this five times anyways, and it has a cooldown. It's super annoying. This this cooldown is really really annoying. I wish it, it didn't have like a fifty something second cooldown, which forces you to come back, like go go do something and then come back and summon again. Wish you could always just keep doing it at the same time. So I started a new... new uh, these are all alts. Like, I basically use alts to, to kind of start leveling my guild. But I, I want to try to get some real people in here. Um, yeah, and I basically... The, the reason why I didn't start a guild earlier was because... Um, actually, there was a bug. Like, I think if... I'm not sure if it was intended or if it was a bug. I think it might be like I don't think it's like exactly a smart design. But what basically happened was I did pre-register and I did pre-register for a guild. And it used to cost like um, a thousand diamonds to make to actually register and make a guild. So I I kind of didn't want to spend that, so I basically I, I joined another guild. And then a friend of mine told me to go to his guild, which is like one of the top guilds. So I left my original guild, tried to apply to to that guild, but they just wouldn't accept me. So, um, you know, I got I got tired of it. So I was like, okay, might as well go back to my original plan and make make my own guild. So I went back. I I leveled my um, other guild. Oh, oh yeah, the reason why I wasn't able to have access to my original guild was because I transferred my account from my, my Google account to my Facebook. Um, so basically I'm logged into the game with Facebook and I, I'm not able to like, you know, have access to the guild before, like th that I had before unless I leveled one of my alts to level 15. Um, or level my other account, like the one that's bound to my Google, which is which got reset after I transferred the account um, to level 15. So that's actually what I did yesterday. I leveled that alt to level 15, and I basically um, created the guild and transferred the the monarch position to my my main account. That's kind of just what I did. And I decided, like you know, think since my since uh, it was pretty easy to level a few accounts to level 15, I might as well level a few accounts and just have them. You know, keep feeding their their um, diamonds and gold onto onto this this account like every single day, and this way I can level it a little bit faster. So that's that's just kind of what I what I did to get this started. So if you guys want to apply, the guild name is called Superbia, and um, you'll see the notice main language English. All are welcome. Soon to be number one guild. All right, soon to be number one guild. As soon as you guys start joining, this will be the number one guild on the server. All right, let's uh, let's let's move on. Um, so I have to do boss raid. I have to do time rift, and I have to do the tower, and I have to do another coliseum battle. And basically, that's that's everything I need to do for for today. Kind of like the the main things I need to do for today. So let's uh, let's start with a raid. Let's start with a raid. I think I did find a boss just now. So let's let's just hit him. Oh yeah, so yesterday I found out that, you know, to fight the boss you, don't, you actually don't need any tanks. Or actually you don't need any tanks or healers, you just need like full nukes. So I think this is my full nuke team, right? Yeah, this is my full nuke team. So I'm basically just going to go with this team and I'm going to nuke the shit out of them. Oh wait, shit, he's level 3. This might not be good for me. Actually no, he still does barely any damage. Dude, I love the succubus so much. Her crit, her crit for the whole entire team is just too strong. I might be in trouble. Oh shit! I don't think I should do this to a level three boss. This no heal team against a level three boss is actually kind of bad. Yeah, I might be in trouble. Maybe, maybe not. It's just because she's two stars and she's only level twenty nine. If she was 3 starred and like level 30 like everybody else, probably would be easier. Oh 
Oh my god, he has so much stun. What is this bullshit? Alright, somebody's dying. He, she's dead, she's dead. Should I have brought a healer? If I bring a healer, would I do more damage? I mean, she's she only died in the last like 5 seconds, right? So I basically just need to get her level up a little bit. And I should still be able to run this comp for the boss. See, that was like... That was like 30% of his shit gone. It's from one attack. Um... Alright, you know what? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna actually level her up a little bit. I mean, I did get her to plus two, so I might as well... Might as well do this. I gotta start using these potions. I actually had these potions maxed out this morning. It was at like 99. Wait, is level 30 enough? Maybe I should get her to 31. Alright, 31 should be good. 31 should be strong enough. Okay, same team, let's do this. Let's fucking go, baby, let's fucking go. I somehow think that the tail is, is weaker than the arm. I'm not I'm not too sure. But if it does feel like the tail's weaker than the arm. It does have way less CC, or maybe I'm just resisting and stuff. Are you guys still using the elder? Like I think the elder's actually really strong, although he's just a Nat 1 monster. I, th I always thought he was a Nat too, until I started playing my ult, and then I summoned him, and I was like, oh shit, he's a 1 star. Because it was so long ago, it was like when I first started playing the game, that I got him to 2 stars. That was, that was actually a lot of damage. Alright, I think that's enough. Um, people are probably going to start hitting it soon now that I got to 81%. So we're pretty good with the boss. Let's do another random summon. Because I, I need to do this three times a day anyways. Alright, uh, time rift or tower. Time rift, let's do the time rift. Hmm. What is this? M monsters only? Oh, I never beat this. Oh wait, I can I can use Oh, this is human noise only. Oh, this team should definitely be strong enough to to wreck her face. I'm not sure if I can... I, I think I might be able to beat the level 3 version of her with this team. I don't know, I, I somehow think some of this is kind of imbalanced. Like, it might be better to use, use her because it's easier to get the pieces for her because you can just probably... Probably most people can farm, farm B3 of her. Because the, the monsters that they gave us for free are like mostly humanoid, you know? Like, the, these monsters are the ones they gave us for free. I mean, this was free, this was free, this was free, this was free. So, like, this team you can put together with, um, if you started playing on day one. I'm not sure if I can beat the level 3 version of her, though. Let's just see how much damage she does. Oh shit, she hurts. Actually no, I think I can sustain through this. 
Depends if she has some really strong AoE. If she has some really strong AoE, the, the guys in the back are probably the first ones in trouble. I don't know, a lot of people don't don't like him. Um, I think he's called Baphomet or, so, or something. Like, a lot of people are saying he's, he's really weak. Or 4 star. Because they, they pr pretty much gave us a 4 star version of him. I think he's really strong for, like, PvE. He's, he's, he's too squishy for PvP, because he dies too fast. Because, like, most monsters in PvP, like, most teams in PvP would do enough damage to, to burst him down before he gets his heal off. But I think in PvE, a lot of times, he like the, especially in stages where um, you need to like, you know, clear through a lot, or if you're doing like the tower and stuff, the self um, the self sustain is really nice because you can just keep healing back. It's like against burst damage, it's better to have like just straight out tankiness and damage mitigation. But against um, against like you know just constant damage, sustain is just stronger. All right, let's uh let's go back to farming that spider. <laughs> it's what I do every day with my with my uh with my pieces. Cause I don't think I can beat level thirty even if I spawn the vampire. Although I really want him. I'm pretty sure. Actually, no. I could probably beat. Him. But if I if I do beat him, I'm probably gonna lose one or two guys. So it's it's probably not that worth it. I'm gonna keep farming this until I have like 20 pieces. I'm at seven, six or seven pieces right now. So once I get 20, I'll be able to uh, be able to summon her. All right, back to back to floor seven. All right, back to floor seven. Um. Yeah, let's let's just do a no. Actually, wait. Uh, should I? Wait, you got you get no exp here, anyways. All right, let's let's run this comp. It's a faster new comp with like one uh, damage dealing tank. Want to spawn the boss? Yes. See, I was super unlucky yesterday. This is what it should be like. You do one run, and then you just get the boss. Just like that. That's how it's supposed to work. I really want her. I think she's definitely going to be really, really strong. Just as like a utility tank or something like that. I mean, I need 10 monsters anyways for guild battles. Oh yeah, some of you guys, like, if you guys haven't done any guild battles, um, you need 10 monsters for it. So, I'm kind of preparing, preparing for that, trying to get enough monsters. Back to floor 7. It should just be like this. You, you farm one floor, you farm boss, boss drops piece. You know, that's, that's the way it should be, alright? <laughs> that's the way it should be. Unfortunately, it's not always like that, or else I probably already have have her already. The game's definitely really hardcore. Like, if you guys aren't used to, like, just, you know, typical Korean games, not, like, non-watered-down versions of Korean games, like, this is what it's like, alright? Actually, this game already isn't that bad. But I mean, it forces you to like always have to log in and do stuff and then get the daggers at that time. And then the daggers refill like relatively fast. So in order to not waste any, you basically need to, need to go back and, and keep farming every few hours. And if you miss a day, you're fucked. You're just, you're just completely fucked. So, um, yeah, never miss a day. Go 
Come on, I just need you to drop like one more piece. I've actually gotten really lucky before. Like where she drops like one of her normal pieces and then the other purple piece for the uh for the other evolution thing. Come on. Well, that was that was pretty good. I have uh two more runs. Alright, just need I just need to do four seven. Drop this armor. Um spawn the boss. And then boss drops like a million pieces. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Oh, nice! That is awesome. See, it should always be like this. You should get like three chances for the boss. I was thinking of building a comp that has like a bunch of AoE nukes. And just like clear out the back line before the front line even dies. You, like I want, I want to kind of try that against like a. Oh shit, that wasn't. That was. Uh, all right, I I got the lucky bonus, but I I'd rather have the boss piece. The random ring. But I mean, beggars can't be choosers, right? I'm probably gonna grab that later when I actually have room to grab it. Want to scroll down? Oh, nice! I got a, I got a box. Let's open that box. You know, I actually sold one of these by accident because I I clicked the sell button instead. Um. Are Eddie's two stars or one stars? If they're one stars, I can summon them. If they're two stars, I can't. It's always nice to have more monsters, because... Oh wait, no, I can make them two stars. Alright, I guess that was pretty good. I mean, having a team of, like, just random monsters is better for exploration anyways. So I guess we just have one Colosseum battle to do, right? The normal stage fight Colosseum. Level up these. Uh, this is probably not that important. Use your summon stone. All right, let's do the arena battle and uh, and then summon one more time. Oh my god, someone just hit me. I'm 191 now. That's that's super sad. Look at all these armor set people. Pay to win scrubs. This guy, this guy paid to win too. He he bought something else. He didn't buy the armor set. God damn it! Why do you people all have to do this? Wait, wait, wait! I just need to find a comp. Like it's not about. It's not about. It's not about how strong they are. Like this party power doesn't actually matter. What matters is their comp. Wait, I might be able to beat this comp actually. Oh, I don't have a good magic tank. I mean, he's okay, but he's mostly physical as well. All right, let's let's try it. Let's try it. Let's let's just, let's just fucking go. All right. I mean, he's got. I can probably burst him down before he uses his heal. Come on, come on! Oh shit, I'm gonna have trouble against their, his hero though. That's the problem. Damn it, that hero's always in the back line. Like, she doesn't get focused down first. She needs to die before she uses her AoE. Or else not, it's GG for me. Come on, come on. Crit, crit. Do some crits. Laura, do your shit. 
Yeah, see, I told you, the, that, the power level does not matter. It's about their comp. Like, if you know their comp, and you know your comp is strong against their comp, you can beat them. That's basically it. Power level is fake. Alright, doesn't th this number here is it doesn't matter. With that being said, I actually should start a series where I just review every single monster and talk about their skills and what they, they might be used for. Um Yeah, so I finished I finished that quest as well. Can do one more summon and that and then that should be it. I have no idea what those pieces are for. Alright guys, that's the end of the video. Um, join my guild. The guild name is called Superbia. And we're going to be the number one guild on the server, alright? As soon as you guys join and start donating. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.